In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best blitzes in Madden 23. It's out of the Dime 236 Will Formation in the Baltimore Defensive Playbook. Now, we've got an entire ebook on this defense, and it's going to be linked in the description. By joining the Patreon, you'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our 146 and our 236 ebook out of the Ravens Playbook. Now, the Ravens Playbook has uh, 236 Will, which last year this was the best defense uh, at the end of the year and I do think this year it's actually really really good again uh, what makes this defense so good is the angles at which the edge rushers are aligned and it allows them to come in really 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 well so if I come out here in DB fire 2 I in my coach adjustments I have base line on you're gonna notice here that this is gonna get pretty decent pressure against bunch what you're gonna notice is we're gonna get these looping edge rushers coming in off of at least one side if not both and this in my opinion is actually a really um, it, it, it's way more effective than people realize like this is a way more effective blitz most people are just running dollar because dollar has been meta all year this might be better than dollar and the reason why it might be better than dollar is because if you if you know anything about dollar you know that this side this right side doesn't come in very consistently in this formation it comes in pretty much every single time and so why that's important is because let's say they block a running back to try to pick up your left side pressure a lot of times what's going to happen is you're still going to be able to get this off of the right side. As you see right there, we blocked the running back. We still came in completely free. So this forces them to have to basically send five out. Now, we still can run if we want to. We could run something like this and create this just this left side pressure you see right there. Now, some of this has to do with the routes they put on the field. Like, for example, you saw there, that's a table route, and that, that table route kind of messed with me. If I put him on a wheel, which most people don't run table routes, honestly, this year. If I put him on a wheel route, you'll see this is going to be pretty much 100% consistent. It comes right in off the edge, just like that, super simple. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can actually slide these corners in off the edges and you can try to run the loop blitz so you see right here we get these loopers kind of looping either through the b gap or around the edge that's another kind of piece uh, uh piece to this defense another thing that i want to quickly point out is you saw that i just showed blitz when you show blitz out of two three six it creates really good alignment, like really good alignment. Um, your safeties come down in the box really, really well. You're able to, to, again, there you see there's the loop blitz coming in off the edge. So it gives you incredible alignment. Now, um, let's spend just a few seconds talking about compression because I know that tight is definitely meta for a reason. So I'm going to go to tight offset, tight in, and uh, we'll just – We'll uh, grab some concepts here and, and kind of talk through uh, some of these plays. So let's just put uh, Saint Spot Shake. So if I show blitz against this formation, I want you to look at where people go. You see here uh, on that left side, that's the perfect angle for the loop blitz. And then I can just blitz that right side like normal. So you see here, it just creates a really fast setup for pressure. But at the same time, you're able to get your safeties down in the box faster. When you bring your safeties down in the box this year, it's really helpful, not only for run defense, but it's also helpful for pass coverage. So as you see right here, we're getting clean pressure off the right. And then off the left side, um, in a lot of ways, we're still getting pretty good pressure. If we want to bring this guy off the edge, we can. We can actually stack both of these guys relatively quickly, um, especially against tight this year. You can stack really fast. And you see this is a really good blitz for tight. So the other thing that we can do is let's say we just want to you know, run our standard baseline press defense. You can run your standard baseline press defense. And a lot of times you're going to get double edge pressure uh, against this. So this is really, really powerful. Now, again, if they block their running back, um, one thing I just want to point out real quick is if they do block their running back, you should still have a chance to get that looper off that backside, as you see right there. So the beauty of this is it really counters block six well, and it funnels them into block seven, which most people don't ever, ever, ever want to do. So you're able to get really, really consistent loop pressure off of both edges with this formation. And there's a lot of versatility that it allows. Um, if you want to run it like a standard DB Fire 2, you can certainly do that. You'll see right here, we're going to get that nice looping rush. Some formations are a little different in terms of where you need to hover. So, for example, you're seeing I'm not having a ton of success hovering there. So now when I hover over here, though, you see now the pressure is coming a little bit cleaner. 
Um, and that's the beauty of this formation. Now, if we show blitz, that's the real, I think, value is the show blitz alignment is so good. And you see, look how fast that pressure comes in off the edge. And you're also bringing loop pressure on uh, the backside. So if they do block a running back, a lot of times you're going to get pressure. Like you're still going to be able to come in clean. That time my loop got picked up there. Um, and that happens sometimes in practice mode just because the way the practice mode works. Um, but you see how powerful this blitz is. So super simple defense. Um, and then you can play coverage out of it. So uh, what I like to tell people is play cover two to the short side, cover three to the wide side. So uh, we could do something like this. And now we're able to take away snap throws. We're able to take away a lot of stuff on that backside. And if they send five out, nine times out of ten, you're still going to get pressure. And that's why this defense is so powerful. So I would really encourage you to take a look at this 236. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook on it, that is going to be linked down in the description of the video. So make sure to go down to the description and go check out the Patreon.